Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what I carry in my travel makeup bag. And to be honest, you guys, for a long time, and if you personally know me, you know that I would carry so much makeup. Like, it's ridiculous how much makeup I used to carry and embarrassing at the same time. But I now have minimalized my makeup especially now that i'm getting older you guys to be honest i'm not gonna be doing no smoking eye on vacation or super freaking cut crease sparkly detailed gemstones like that is not gonna be me unless you're going to like edc or something or like a festival then that's a whole different ball game but on a regular vacation you guys i keep my makeup super simple especially now that i'm doing eyelash extensions i keep my makeup even more simple and this makeup lasts me day to night you guys and like tmi certain activities so um, it will last through that so I really wanted to show you guys what I carry in my makeup bag because I'm obsessed with everything I carry just wanted to update you guys since I know it has been some time and more because in general I haven't been filming I haven't been vlogging I haven't been doing like anything or posting on YouTube so I was like you know what we are staying here at this hotel with amazing lighting and it's super cozy and I love the feeling of this um inn and we're actually in Santa Barbara for our wedding anniversary um and we are staying at the Mason beach inn i highly recommend this inn you guys it's such a freaking vibe i'm obsessed with it i'm definitely gonna come back every time i come into santa barbara i think this is where i'm gonna be staying um but yeah so let's get right into the video because i don't want it to be me like super rambling um so this here is the makeup bag that i carry with me i purchased this at target about two years ago if i'm not mistaken but they still have it available at target because i've seen it there when i go to target guilty i will go and see if they still have it and they actually do and they have this other really cute one as well um so i'm thinking of purchasing like another bag because i love how i separate i don't know if you guys can see in here so here i have all my powders um together with face products and over here i have my liquids so on one side i keep liquids the other side i keep powders and an eyeshadow palette and then in the center i keep my makeup brushes so the first product that is hands down you definitely have to have is a beauty sponge this will change your life it doesn't matter i always apply my foundation with a really good foundation brush from Sonia Kishuk. It was only like 10 bucks at Target. I'm obsessed with that brush. My foundation looking super smooth. Um, but even though I do that, I still go ahead and go in with a sponge just to fully make sure that I'm blending the foundation into my skin um, or just blending the foundation on my face. And I also bring it down to the neck area because my neck is a different color from my face because I'm a plus size beauty so a lot of us plus size people we do or in general i think we have a different neck color compared to our face so i just blend everything in with the beauty sponge and then i use this also to kind of just pat in the powders and you guys will see that in my getting ready video this fan here so i originally purchased this fan because during the summertime i suffer you guys like nobody understands how much i suffer except for my household definitely my husband he sees it all so um i suffer so much while i'm getting ready or even if we go out to dinner i will pop this baby out if you guys follow me on instagram which i will leave my handles here um you guys have seen it before i got my pictures on my stories and stuff like that you will see this on the table like during the summer, I have my sister's birthday, I have my niece's birthday, I have my birthday, my best friend's birthday, 
just um a lot of birthdays during the summertime my husband's birthday my brother so it's just like we're constantly going out to go have dinner and i'm just like i'm not trying to be sweating all melting on the dinner table so what i do is this here has like a rubber base which i love because i can set it anywhere and it has three settings and i set it on the base and it just blows in the air not only that but it comes in really handy you guys when i do a setting spray or any type of spray i go ahead and turn this baby on and i dry all the powders and all the liquids together to melt into one not only that but it also comes in handy since i am getting eyelash extensions now <laughs> sometimes my eyelashes are a little bit more wet than i would like and i don't want to go in there with too much of a towel to like pat and dry because i don't want my lashes to fall off too fast so what i do is i get a fan and just basically point it downwards and i also go from above to dry and while i'm doing that i also brush out the eyelash extension I'm carrying my mac gimme sun bronzer especially because i want to look a little bit more bronzy glowy a little bit more like tan um especially because we are in fall and winter time is coming and i am looking hell of hell so what i do is i just bronze up a little bit with mac to give me sun to give me more of a bronzy summer feel two blushes from milani and one is more of a bronzy tone like a bronzy orange and the second blush is more of a rosy this one here is in bellissimo bronze and this is rose de oro so of course more bronzy orange and more on the pinkier side super beautiful love how they look on my skin the next blush is mac peaches um i recently just wanted to buy it in the original compact just so i can carry it with me and i don't have to carry a whole like makeup palette of blushes that i have or actually have two but i just don't want to be carrying too much around anymore you guys like i'm just like over it so i bought it in a compact version just super easy to throw in your makeup bag and go the bh flawless brow trio i normally use this for my brows but yesterday and today i didn't really use any powder on my brows since they're freshly done i did is i just use the precisely my brow pencil from benefit which i have right here mixed with the powder but i go back and forth with the powder at times and then together with this i use the the benefit 24 hour brow setter to set my eyebrows and make them super fluffy my artist couture supreme nudes palette you guys this palette if you guys don't have it purchase this palette like yesterday <laughs> you guys need it in your life it's such a freaking versatile palette it's so beautiful super mm, i don't want to say it's basic colors but at the same time it just screams fall to me so i really love this palette i hope that they're not discontinuing it because if you guys follow mac daddy um the owner of the uh, artist couture brand he was stating that certain products are not going to be available for his brand anymore which completely sucks because i love artist couture this is my baby always with me always traveling with me ever or just in general i'm always using it ever since i purchased it it's my go-to because it has mattes it has like it literally has mattes some super shimmers some not so shimmery but just like beautiful a little bit you know pop of color of the olive <clears throat> it has beautiful mattes in here they're not chalky the shimmers are like butter as well the next palette is the Kat Von D shade in like contour palette um this palette here I'm going to be honest with you guys. I mainly use it for the brightening colors. I don't really use the contour colors. If anything, I might use this one if I really want like a super a defined cheek area. But honestly, I just use it for the highlighting colors. I go ahead and I use... I'm already hitting pan actually. I use this peachy shade for 
the area under my eye here where I normally catch that I have a little bit of dark circles or throughout the day your dark circles just peek in a little bit well this really helps for it not to and then I have these two powders here that I put on top of that one just to brighten up my face because you don't want that brown bronzer helmet so I put it under my under eyes together on my forehead and basically highlight my face the Fenty Beauty Private Island Bronzer and I also have it in a mini version but this one is in Shady Biz. Shady Biz is a little bit lighter than Private Island. Private Island I use it all over my face. Shady Biz I use for my nose to give myself a nose contour. As I already know to set my whole face I use my MAC Studio Fix Powder and NC30. I've tried other powders you guys and I'm gonna be honest I will always go back to my MAC NC30. It does not matter. I have so many of these, like, done. I have a lot, which I actually need to go to MAC store. I think they still, do, they still do, like, bring the compacts and you get, like, a lipstick free or something like that. But I'm not sure. I haven't gone to MAC in a while. I just purchased online, which this one is a brand new one because I just finished my other one. But I do love this powder so much the next one is the laura mercy a translucent powder this baby here with me all the time i use it every day not only when i travel like these products are my staples not just when i travel just so you guys know that but translucent powder laura mercy hands down always using it every time i do my makeup benefit pore professional i also like to use the elf one but i was between the elf or the pore professional and i wanted to do the professional because professional i feel like hydrates my skin a little bit the elf one is a little bit more on the drier side i didn't know how my skin was going to be especially with like traveling and stuff so sometimes my skin gets a little bit more dry so i wanted to play it safe and use something that i knew I was going to be hands down okay with applying on my skin and this is the benefit pore professional for concealers i brought three concealers you guys well actually four concealers because you just never know um the concealer here that i use is from clinique it's the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer i don't use this as foundation i use it as a concealer and it is in the shade 14 vanilla i basically use it for the inter inter <laughs> for the inner corner of my eyes just to get rid of any type of dark circle that I may be having of course my dark circles are different compared to others but I still like to cover them up a bit then I have my three highlighting concealers I hands down love the Fenty Beauty and I use it in the shade 190 I also love NARS custard for more of a hydrating concealer and I am up with the hourglass concealer i don't know why i didn't purchase this earlier i've had this for about maybe two months two to three months i've had this concealer i freaking love it you guys it does not go anywhere it does not move my under eyes look so freaking good from day to night like literally so freaking good and I also, you guys, keep in mind, these products I also use during the week when I'm getting ready for work. I just use a different foundation that's more of a hydrating foundation. But even me using that concealer, there's times that we get ready for work and we're going to take pictures or we're doing like a birthday celebration or something and I really want to look like super glam and put together or we're doing marketing or something like that. Um, I make sure that I look my best so i do my full glam and that concealer does not go anywhere it's so freaking good for foundations i carried two foundations with me these are my babies so first it is going to be the nars natural radiant longwear foundation and i am currently in the shade stromboli but during the summer i am aluba sometimes i have to mix both depending on my in tone because my shade just varies at times and i also have the huda beauty faux filter high coverage cream foundation i love and i am obsessed with this foundation you guys again 
bomb my makeup is so freaking good from day to night and I have it in the shade again I'm already 310 G which I need to buy backups of this foundation because I'm that obsessed with it Mac studio finish concealer in NC 20 I normally use this concealer here to clean up under my brows um, just for a brighter more cleaner look but when i have my eyebrows freshly done i actually don't really need to be cleaning them up unless i mess up and i go like super crazy with the brow pencil which does happen at times um and now for lip products you guys i only brought these lip products here and honestly it says a lot because um the type of person that i would carry like a whole separate baggie just for lip products okay but i was like you know what i'm just gonna take a matte and a cream and a gloss and a lip liner that's all i need kkw beauty lip liner nude 1.5 you guys I only have one backup left i've got through i've gone through so many of those lip liners it is my favorite lip liner hands down and more because of the price it's an affordable price but i cannot get my hands on it anymore because they don't have it available anymore and i only have one more backup of it and i'm so freaking sad so if you guys have any recommendations for a similar lip liner from kkw 1.5 nude let me know down below so i can purchase it um I know there's like MAC Strip Down and all those other MAC lip liners, but honestly, MAC lip liners are so pricey. I still have those and I don't even use them anymore ever since I got the 1.5 from KKW Beauty. So that's how bomb that lip liner is. The next product is Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Catching Feelings. This liquid lipstick, you guys, I've used and abused to be honest it's it's so freaking good it's my go-to lipstick so freaking good constantly using it it does not matter it, it's my baby it's my go-to and i actually have backups of this liquid lipstick because that is how much i use it even when i'm wearing a face mask like it doesn't go anywhere I love it because it doesn't go anywhere. It does not move around my face, which I hate when lipsticks do that or any other liquid lipstick. Once you put a face mask on, it starts moving around your face and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I don't even want to wear lipstick. But then I love wearing lipstick. I love lining my lips, carrying my chapstick with me. Does not matter. I have backups of these. It's the Carmax um moisturizing lip balm and it's just like in a little chapstick form i prefer this than the one in the tube the last two lip products are the kkw beauty lipstick in cream nude 2.5 and it is the lipstick that i have on today it's more of like an orangey nude orange brown nude you guys know that for my lip gloss i had to bring my artist couture uncensored 2.0 i love this lip gloss so freaking good buttery minty feeling makes my lips look so juicy luscious all these products here you guys honestly they are my go-to products constantly use on a daily basis like i said not just when i travel and not only that you guys but what makes it easier i just want to give a quick tip to you guys what makes it easier for me to pack my makeup while i'm traveling or just so i don't overpack makeup is while i'm getting ready because majority of the time i do get ready before heading out so when i get to the hotel room i don't have to do my whole makeup i just do quick retouch and i'm out the door go explore the city that you're in um so what i do is while i'm getting ready i have the bag with me and i constantly just like i'm done with this product put it in the bag so that's what i end up doing and if i just used one blush i'm like okay i'm taking a peachy blush let me take more of a bronzy and a pink because why not and honestly i don't even need to bring a pink one 
depending on my outfits i could have just done the peachy and the bronzy one so it's just like just common sense things to me but yeah so i just wanted to go ahead and film this video for you guys to let you guys know what makeup products i bring and honestly for makeup brushes the majority of my brushes are from eva xo beauty or exo beauty and um morphe brushes morphe jacqueline hill like honestly whatever works for you guys works for you guys and that's it um but yeah those are mainly where i get my makeup brushes from um but yeah so these are my makeup products that i bring with me or that i brought with me for my travel to santa barbara and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye